position. And those are the starting lineups. Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for love. And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, no, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Look at Cleveland's starting group. Ashman and Love are the forwards. Garland is out there with Jordan Clarkson. And for Oklahoma City, Gallinari and Adams, the combo out front. Andre Robertson out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Nader in at the three, the small forward. Looking at the schedule doors, about halfway through the season, some teams that started out very hot and were winning like crazy have now come back to earth. They've cooled a bit. They've leveled out. I think inevitably over the course of an 82-game season, NBA players will tell you there are always ups and downs and waves of success and then the tough moments. And the best teams seem to be able to weather all of that, not get too high when they're playing well, not get too low if they're in the middle of a slump. And so it's the Cavaliers getting on the board first. Five on the clock. Here's Gallinari. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Garland the pass to Clarkson. Love trying to break loose. And the layup is good. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket? Gilgis Alexander finds Adams. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Uh, Steven Adams is improving on the offensive end, and given his size and strength, he's effective from inside. And there's the pass to Osman. The Thunder pull it in. The Cavaliers beat them last time when these two teams met in Cleveland. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. Well, you have to believe the coaching staff made that a point of emphasis. Better aggressiveness, better intensity on the backboards. The Cavaliers shooting their first free throws of the game. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. He hits both from the stripe. In, in Doris, hard to find many arenas that have a better home court advantage than Oklahoma City. Greg, it is the only show in Oklahoma City. And this arena gets loud. The fans come out every game. There is no doubting this is one of the best arenas in the NBA. We are talking about a big-time offensive rebounder, and Steven Adams unafraid to impose his will with that frame. Here's Osman. He averages about uh, five points a game. It's stolen by Adams. Robertson can't hit. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Here's a peek now at the 2K leaderboard. This year, these teams have made the most of their offensive rebounds. Fifth on the list, the Thunder. And just having a terrific year on the offensive glass, it's because everybody buys in. Not just the big men, but even the guards are getting in on the act. The first free throw is good. He doesn't get the second one. Thunder have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Gilgis Alexander lays it up off the glass. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. And 
and no good. Adams, some nice D. Inside. Molinari trying to get open. The shot's good from Robertson. Well, Andre Robertson, a little separation on the interior. That's pretty. It's tipped. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Six to shoot. Love trying to break loose. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Nader. And it's Osman with the rebound. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Suns in Phoenix. Alinari down low, working on Love, off with the layup. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with Coach Billy Donovan. Well, Kevin, he spoke about the strategy coming in of working the ball inside, emphasizing that throughout the game. That's where they think they have the biggest advantage, and they think they can score inside with consistency. We will see how long that holds up, guys. Thank you, David. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. The Cavaliers making the shot. The Thunder with another miss. Now, here's Garland. He'll just Alexander covering. And he lays it straight in. He's got nine. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Robertson kicks to Nader. Oklahoma City moving it around. Now, here's Adams. Tight defense on him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, Doris, I know your style of play at Providence was uh, one of aggressiveness, a lot of instinct, a lot of smarts, great skill. But I, th I think you also have an appreciation for the players that are real scrappy on the floor. What I love, Kevin, are guys who can influence the game without having incredible offensive skill. So a guy like Patrick Beverly, so a little bit undersized. But would you like to have that guy pick you up at 94 oh. feet, be in your grill and in your face like he gives no quarter, he gives no concessions? If he were checking Kevin Harlan, my goodness, you'd have a long night. <laughs> that would be a torture chamber. I agree with you. Here's Garland following the score by Oklahoma City. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter looking to extend the lead. Up top, Gilgis Alexander defended by Sexton. Boy, what's better than Nerland's Noel playing with force on the interior? What a big reason he's earned the... And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Thunder trailing by eight. Alinari and Adams, the combo out front. Andre Robertson out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Nader in at the small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. This guy is a creative offensive talent. Dennis Schroeder can hit defenders with a variety of moves. Go ahead with the floater. To the inside. It's stolen by Adams. Now here's Schroeder. Not a lot of room. Passes it to Adams. Alinari outside. Back to Adams. Shot clock at six. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Love's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. It's good. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Oklahoma City trailing. 
Gallinari outside. Pass to Nader. Back to Gallinari. That's tipped. Pass to Clarkson. He kicks to Garland. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's a 10-point game. Shoots. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The Cavaliers leading by 10. Down low, Golinari with the steal. Now, here's Robertson. He's covered by Clarkson to the middle. Adams, the pass to Nader. Count that one. Nader's got his second bucket. And here is Garland. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's the pass to Love to the paint. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Doris Adams, a terrific player on the floor. But you know what? He's a great teammate as well. Uh, uh, they always talk about the great chemistry he brings to the Thunder. And anyone who's had a conversation with Steven Adams knows he is quite a character. This guy is so easygoing. He's fun. I think he brings a great vibe to the locker room. It's good. Adams has got six. Here's Clarkson. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Pass to Osman. Wallace with it. Over Gallinari. And that one hits back iron. Now, Robertson. No good that time. Clarkson surveying the floor. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. Schroeder with the ball. He's coming off a 22-point game against Phoenix. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy, as a playmaker, was a driving force for that offense. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. We hear this a lot, Doris. The great offense always beats great defense. I think that's true. I do, Kevin. I think, obviously, a defender is usually in reactionary mode. It's the rare defender who is dictating to the offensive player what they want to happen. So imagine trying to impact LeBron James as he's playing in the open floor with a head of steam. Like, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the middle, here's Adams. No good on the shot. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. They host the Clippers after this game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. And that one, good. Garland's got the lead up to 10 now for Cleveland. The Thunder have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Love against Schroeder. High arcing shot. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Love's got six rebounds now in the game. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Cavaliers have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. And the first one at the line is good, so it's both teams making substitutions here. And so he's able to get one of two. Or as you think about the anchor of this team, Stephen Adams just holds it down in the middle. Oh, Stephen Adams does so much, but it all starts on the defensive end with this guy. He takes away so much space on the interior. He is commanding on the backboards. He contests shots. Everything you could hope for, Stephen Adams brings. Inside. Add that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. And with that shot, the Cleveland lead is cut back down to 11 now as they get an important basket that time from Gallinari. Well, a good first quarter leads to a dynamite second period. 
pass to Osman. And easy two points on the layup. 26 points for him. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Thunder have gone. 6 of 14 shooting here in the second. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good in that one. Well, give them some credit for taking advantage of a weak defense and capitalizing on every mistake. Adams dishes to Gallinari. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Thunder have taken ten shots from the free throw line up to this point and made six of them. And has a team. Five seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Noel. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Noel's got four points in the quarter. And so it's the Cleveland. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. So it's the Cavaliers now. They have a nine-point lead. Tipping off the second half. Here's John Beeline's five. Clarkson is the two with Osman the three. Then there's Kevin Love. Then there's Garland. Adam, some nice D. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. And Adams with the slam. Well, you love when Steven Adams shows his strength. Even with the defense in his grill, he finds a way to score. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Arlen kicks to Clarkson. Fader on the way, and he gets it to go. Love's got his first bucket in this one. Well, there's the mid-range game of Kevin Love on point. Boy, you give him a little daylight, he's going to make that shot. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball, really helping his team hang around this one. Banked in off the glass. He's got 32. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Robertson kicks to Gallinari. To the inside. It's deflected. Here's Garland. He averages a bit over six points a game. The shot from the low post is good. And it's a 12-point Cleveland lead. 80% shooting to start the third, four for five. The shot by Nader, no good. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by 14. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Robertson finds Adams. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Six points for him. Just five to shoot. Three-pointer. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. 
And the power rankings now, second half of February. Interesting to see how some of these teams compare. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. They're in a bit of a holding pattern, hoping to take that next leap. And now for the Cavs. They're putting to rest any big concerns people may have had with this team, proving they are truly an upper echelon club. Cleveland moving the ball around, and the basket is good. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Pass to Robertson. Here's Nader. He's covered by Clarkson. Nader kicks to Robertson. Shoots over Clarkson. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And here are the Cavaliers. Big stretch here going 10-2. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching, and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school had a radio station, and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people uh, that were standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the baseline. Amazing. Because that's where the, that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. And wow. I was uh, 16 years old. Incredible. Remember very well. Incredible. Very well. <laughs> Down low, it's stolen by Adams. Now, here's Robertson. He's guarded closely. The kick out to Adams. And the pass to Nader. Back to Adams. Schroeder outside. Oh, good on the three. The Cavaliers leading by 15. Adams brings the double team. It's stolen by Schroeder. Here's Robertson. Finished off the break. Running the floor out in the open space. Andre Robertson knowing where to get to. Passes to Clarkson. Now here's Garland. Defended by Robertson. Pass to Clarkson. Kicks it to Murray. Over Noel. Murray, no good. Oklahoma City has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. To the paint. Noel passes the Schroeder. And there's another one for the Thunder. Wow, look at the way the big man, Noel, set up his guys, puts the pass in the perfect position. Easy shot. Back to Clarkson. In the corner, Murray with it. Second shot opportunity. He lays it in. He's got 39. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Thunder trailing by 13. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And no doubt coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Cavaliers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. You know what I love about Larry Nance Jr.? This guy came into the league as a tremendous athlete, but his skill set just keeps improving. The passing, the shooting, I love it. Pass to Muscala, jacks up a three. Oklahoma City the rebound. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for him. And the past 10 games have 
been all about his work on the boards. He's been a different guy when it comes to rebounding. He's battling like he hadn't been earlier in the year, and it's great to see that kind of hustle. That free throw, no good. And a quality defender. Larry Nance doesn't need Doris the ball to impact the game. No doubt, Kevin, because he's willing to rebound the ball out of his area. He's willing to be a high motor guy on the defensive end. His activity is always a big lift to this team. Inside. And he makes good on the layup. He's carried this team to this lead on his back, handling almost all the scoring duties. Now the pass to Baisley. Kicks it out to Schroeder. Alinari outside. To the wing right side. We've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Boom, he jams it straight down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Back to Mescala. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, easy call. He's 0 of 2 at the line in this one. Well, free throw shooting is a constant cause of concern for them. And today, that concern has been front and center. And here is Garland. It's off. And so it's Cleveland, enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. We've got more in store for you right after. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates, Greg. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. So for Oklahoma City right now, Gallinari and Adams, the combo out front. Gilgis Alexander out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Baisley in at the three spot. What I love about Larry Nance Jr. is he doesn't need the ball to be effective. But when he does get the ball, he shoots with high percentage. Gilgis Alexander finds Adams. Now here's Schroeder, defended by Sexton. Alinari surveying the D. Gets that one through the hole, making now 7 of 13 in this game. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Passes it to Garland. Here's Osman. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Schroeder with the ball. Guarded now by Sexton. Here's the lob to Adams. And Adams with the slam. And that's a double-double for him now. 11 points and 12 rebounds. Well, the New Zealander shows a little hops on the alley-oop. Adams brings the double team. Boy, plenty of time left on the clock. He needs to keep his poise. That's his fourth foul now. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Nader's checked in. Cleveland also making some changes. Love comes in for Nance. And it's Clarkson in for Colin Sexton. Here comes with the double team. Here's Love down in the low post it goes yeah the chemistry has been terrific really impressed with their offensive execution and it's Schroeder with the ball he brings it up for Oklahoma City trailing by 10 and at home for the next game it'll be Detroit pulling into town that'll be the second of four games at home for him. fourth quarter 
quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Cleveland moving it around. Back to Osman. From outside the arc, it's hauled in by Adams. For Oklahoma City, they've gone a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. The offensive rebound. Yes, yeah, showing some strength in the paint there. Tough, tough rebound. There's Garland. Thunder with the rebound. Adams has got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. And it's Gallinari missing. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Clarkson against Gallinari. Clarkson kicks to Love. And Adams sends it back. Boy, this guy is such a defensive stalwart. Stephen Adams' size and timing. Send it back, Stephen. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Gilgis Alexander passes the Schroeder. The feed to Adams. No good with the layup. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Here's Love. Another shot. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Well, they're just riding the hot hand down the stretch, and he's been in a zone all night. Robertson, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. You know, Doris, you and I love history. And we were talking the other day, you and I, about Bill Russell and his 11 championship ring. Do you think anyone's ever going to break that record? I think it'll be close to impossible, Kevin. And the reason is, number one, uh, there were so many fewer teams back then for Bill Russell, in no way diminishing the greatness of one of the game changers, both between the lines and outside the lines. Bill Russell will always be an historic figure. Uh, but it's very tough to compare eras. There's now 30 teams, nutrition, conditioning, coaching. Uh, there's just so much more information in the current era. And with the pace of today's game, transition defense is at a premium. I don't think anyone was catching him on that play. That is unbelievable. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Of right side. Over in the corner, Osman. Shot clock. He sends for the Cavaliers. Boy, no quitting Kevin Love there, right, Kev? I mean, this guy keeping possessions alive with his activity. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. And so it's Cleveland with it. Pass to Osman. Gallinari against Love. He gets it in there. Love's got 10 points here in the second half. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Pass to Adams. Now Gallinari. The pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Gallinari. 
Six on the shot clock. 18 feet out. Comes up empty. Seven for 15 with that miss. The Cavaliers leading by 12. And Garland has it in the corner. From outside, off the mark. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Gallinari dishes to Adams. And Gallinari kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Floats one. Basket good. Gilgis Alexander's got four this quarter. The Cavaliers have gone 6 of 13. So just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Kicks it out to Love. to the middle the 11 footer and that's going to be too many steps gets the whistle on the travel yeah they're starting to go in the wrong direction in terms of turnovers it's slowly becoming a problem Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Gilgis Alexander Schroeder with the ball and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here Greg last season, Dennis Schroeder transitioning to more of a six-man role with the Thunder. And for his first go at that role, I thought Schroeder looked really good. He's always been able to score and create, and coming off the bench might be the best spot for him. You know, I think one of the important things for Dennis Schroeder is to keep trying to become more and more efficient. Let his offense come naturally and improve as a distributor. Adam, some nice D. You know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Right now, trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Steven Adams picks one up. And the first one drops. That one is no good. Thunder trailing by 10. Schroeder outside. So here's Gallinari. Lock at six. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Passes it to Garland. Gallinari with the steal. Schroeder with the ball. Garland picks him up. Gallinari. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got three assists tonight. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Pass to Clarkson. And Garland has it in the corner. They get a hand on it. Pass to Clarkson. Shot clock at six. A fadeaway. Good work there as it goes. The Thunder shooting uh, about 47% here in the fourth. 121 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Colinari. Unable to get that one. Good D from Love. Cleveland's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Cavaliers. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. Oklahoma City shooting in this game, 45%. Gallinari against Love. Here's Schroeder, and it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Well, the Dennis Schroeder show is cooking on all cylinders right now. The defense has no answer. Back to Clarkson. 
32 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Right on the bucket. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. And it's Gallinari missing. Guys, they have a really solid lead at this point. Definitely, and they haven't faced much resistance. Sinks that one from the post. Seven Three. seconds left to play here in the fourth. Gallinari on the wing. Good D from Love. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent. This one wound down. want to do is take the crowd out of it. Fellas, appreciate y'all, man. Thanks, Whoa, Lord. appreciate you, man. What's up, big dog? Appreciate you, man. What's up, man? And we played good tonight, man. You know? Yeah, we gotta keep it going. Hey, man. What's up, bro? Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. You know, do what I can. Okay, congrats on making the All-Star team. Thanks, Ted. So tell me, how does it feel? Man, it feels like Christmas morning and you got all those presents underneath the tree and mom's cooking bacon and French toast and everything's exactly how it should be, except I don't eat bacon. So it feels pretty good then? Oh, yeah, man. It feels great. Wouldn't you want to be an all-star? That's like every kid's dream right there. That and bringing home the chip. But one thing at a time, you feel me?